Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video on body care and I really wanted to do a video like this because I feel like we tend to neglect body care and mainly focus on caring for the skin on your face. So I felt like this would be a really nice video to put out there for you guys to see how I do my body care skincare routine because I actually do have that um, and how I actually pay attention to the ingredients in the products that are going on my body, not just my face, but on my body as well. So let's get into this video. Okay, so the first step of body care is to obviously shower. And when I shower, I always make sure that my water isn't burning hot. I know it's really, really tempting and it does feel like hella good when you're getting in a really hot shower, but it's just really not good for your skin. It'll dry it out. If you have oily skin and you're washing your face with like super hot water, it's going to dry it out and you're going to get more oil production from that. So my first tip would be to make sure you are washing your body with warm to lukewarm water. My next step of my routine, which is also a tip as well, is to use these scrubbing gloves. So you can pick these gloves up from Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and basically they're just exfoliant kind of gloves. So I would never use these on my face. These are definitely too rough for my face but they're perfect for your skin on your body because the skin on your body tends to be a bit more um, tougher and stronger. Another thing is these gloves will do the work for you. Don't press super hard into your skin. It'll get the job done. They are pretty rough feeling. So you just would put your body wash on this and scrub as is and they will exfoliate for you. You don't need to push super hard. So the two reasons why I really like these gloves is because they, one, exfoliate, so that already renews the skin and promotes cell turnover. It'll also help you to soak in the products you're putting on next more quickly because you have just got rid of all the impurities on the skin. And then they also get rid of ingrown hairs. So for anyone who shaves, um, basically if you get ingrown hairs on your body, this is an amazing tool to use to get rid of that. So for a majority of my life, I have always used like Aveeno and Dove body washes, but I've kind of realized that those definitely dry out my skin and they're very sudsy and just drying. So I finally decided to invest in a higher end body wash and this is Necessaire's multivitamin body wash and it is fragrance free. This body wash has a pH of 4.75 to 5.75, so that is right in the range of your skin's natural pH, which is about 4.5 to 5.5, so it won't really dry out the skin and it's not going to strip it of its natural moisture. This also contains so many different vitamins, but the vitamins that stood out to me are vitamin B3 and vitamin E. Vitamin E can also act as an antioxidant, so it's really good for repairing and protecting the skin. But vitamin E will help to repair and strengthen the skin barrier, while vitamin B3 also kind of acts like niacinamide, where it brightens and brings radiance to the skin. I really enjoy how this body wash is fragrance-free. A lot of body washes contain a lot of different um, ingredients that are just not good for your skin. Very drying, like fragrance, alcohols, dyes weird stuff that I don't really need on my body and so I really like how this is a very clean and fresh body wash that's going to hydrate and deliver the nutrients that your body needs. So what I want to talk about next is probably one of the most important factors of body care and that is shaving. And I have the EOS Evolution of Smooth Shaving Cream here. And I really love this shaving cream for shaving because it has this really delicate creamy texture that hydrates the skin when you shave. So most of the time we use these like really foam aerosol cans that just have this like white layer of just shaving cream on top of your skin and you shave. But that's just not effective because you are still going to get razor nicks and burns from that because it's not hydrating the skin and prepping it for the razor to be on it. So the EOS cream here will also prep the skin for the razor and it will avoid those nicks and burns that you usually get when you shave. I also wanted to show you the razor that I use. I low-key have to change the top. I haven't shaved. So yeah, there you go. 
But um, yeah, since it's winter, I haven't like shaved that much. So I have this razor here that I use and it is the Gillette razor. It, ha it is five blades. And the reason why I like to use five blades is because it's a bit more gentle on the skin. Men use these types of razors on their face. So I would assume by that, that it would be safe enough to use on the skin on your legs, which is not as sensitive on your face. Yeah, so I really like using the five blade razor because it's a bit more gentle on the skin, not as harsh, and it's not as blunt and dull. It really gets that cut and clean shave in there. The next thing I'm going to show you guys in my routine is a little bit um, bougie, I have to say, and you really do not have to do it, but I love doing it because I always see extreme results in my skin. And you can do this with any type of essence, but I like to use the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence, and this is an essence I actually got from Costco for a relatively cheap price, but SK2 is an essence that has Patera in it, and it is their patented ingredient. And Patera is derived from a fermentation process, and it is full of amino acids and vitamins. So it really helps to rebuild the skin, provide it with a lot of nutrients. It's pretty hydrating, and it brightens the skin. I have to say, when I use this, my skin just looks so much brighter. It is really an amazing investment if you guys are looking for a product that is going to brighten your skin and show long-term results. SK2 is amazing for that. This essence here, it just, my skin glowed when I used this. I have to say that. So I put this on right after I shower. Once I get out and my skin is still damp and wet, I put this on because your skin is going to soak that in faster because your pores are more open when they're damp and after you got out of the shower. So it's going to soak this in. I'm going to get the best results from this product when I do it that way. And I just put it on my legs and sometimes my arms, but mainly my legs because I feel like that area needs the most work. So this is the last step in my routine. And the next product I'm going to show you guys is actually pretty new, but for that, I'm going to show you what I usually use, which is this Eucerin Roughness Relief Lotion. And this is really amazing for my eczema prone skin. And it's really thick and heavy in consistency. So if your skin just is pretty sensitive to textures, mine can be that way too. This might be a little overwhelming because it's pretty thick. Um, but this is their thicker cream because it's geared towards roughness and eczema. So I really like using this when my skin really needs that boost and that extreme hydration. But what I've been using now is the Necessaire Body Lotion. And it is very, very similar to their body wash, which I really like. It is also fragrance free and it is full of vitamins like the B3 and the vitamin E to brighten the skin and repair the skin barrier and then protect it as well by acting as an antioxidant. I would say this is on the lighter side for a cream. Even though I do have dry skin, I still feel moisturized in the morning when I wake up. My skin doesn't feel dry. I would actually recommend using the Eucerin if you suffer from eczema prone skin. But if you do not and you just have relatively dry skin and you just want something nice and light and refreshing but still intensely hydrating, I would definitely recommend the Necessaire Lotion. It's really good for hydration and it doesn't leave you with that kind of sticky and emollient feeling, which is something I really enjoy when I go to bed. I don't have to feel too sticky and overwhelmed. And my other tip is to apply this again right after you get out of the shower. If you put on the essence on your legs, apply it right after because you're going to get the best results because your pores are open and you just hopped out of the shower and you have damp skin. So I really recommend doing that. All right, so that was it for my body skincare routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned a little bit of information about how to take care of your body and what ingredients to look for in your body care products. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this video helps you to feel a bit more comfortable in your own skin. Bye.